up next, it's a lightweight fight between Cole Miller and the Hitman. Our tail of the tape for this lightweight matchup. All right, what's up, guys? It's Hitman XD, Hitman. and uh, Cole today Miller. I got episode three of my career. Um, I'm facing Cole Miller in what the, the what is my second UFC Oftentimes, fight. Uh, the first fight I beat program, Ross Pearson by knockout. Fight. So this now, fight, Cole Miller is a little fight, tougher. He's uh, this is still the beginning of my career, so my stats are still not as good. Well, um, he might be concerned about getting thrown or taken and down, Mike. In my other videos, originally I thought I was playing on, on his terms beginner, but I'm actually playing on experience, so that's why it's a little harder. And I think experience is a good difficulty to start on because you can earn more points than you would be on beginner and it's actually enjoyable because it's a little bit of a challenge um, some of you might be good enough to even go higher like advanced and uh, expert but um, I find experience is it's good because it's uh, you can kind of have fun with it you don't have to work too hard but it's still a little bit challenging you can get knocked out stuff like that and I'm sure when you get to the higher level or the higher uh, rated, rated fighters like the champions I'm sure they're a little bit tougher to beat, so. Um, and thank you to all my subscribers out there and the viewers. You guys are great. Uh, thanks for all the comments. And um, I will continue to release gameplay videos and uh, be a part of the uh, UFC community of, of gamers that uh, we've kind of created here. So a lot of you guys have um, asked me about a fight camp and my gamer tag online i'm actually going to post my gamer tag somewhere on my page uh, on my channel you'll probably find it on the left hand side somewhere and as far as starting a camp i know ufc has had some online uh, issues at first uh, i believe some of them are fixed the games aren't as laggy but there's still some issues so i'm going to wait till uh, online game gameplay is a little bit better and then uh, i will release the name of my camp and invite some community members in to join and that should be a good time I want to get to know some of you guys and train with some of you guys and play. So, and, and I, of all skill levels, I don't care if you suck or if you're really advanced. And, you know, I'm I'm not the best player out there, but uh, I think I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, I can learn a few, a few things from you guys also. Um, Cole Miller, back to the fight here. Cole Miller is a tough opponent. He's, if you notice earlier, he took me down twice with uh, with that trip takedown that uh was made famous by Lyoto Machida. If you played the demo a lot, a lot of um, people complain about the trip takedown because actually with that certain particular takedown right there, if you aren't holding right or the right stick back, which is a sprawl basically, then it's an automatic takedown. So um, I don't find it too annoying because the range on it isn't that great. It is probably the best take shoot takedown in the game, but uh, it's not that overpowered in my opinion to where they would need to change anything. Um, of course, your creative fighter can use that particular one. Not that I found. Uh, if I'm wrong, someone post a comment. But if I'm not, uh, the most uh, from what I believe, you can't uh, pick that takedown move as a, on your creative fighter. So you only have to deal with the. Uh, regular UFC fighters that have that. Beautiful I know Cole Miller is one of them and Machida is the other. There's plenty of others. Uh, I think it's Frank Mir was one. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, it's not too bad. So uh, back to the fight here, round one. Cole Miller, you know, I didn't do too much in round one. He didn't do too much in round one. He's got a great ground game and my ground stats aren't as high. So I'm having a tough time passing here. So, uh, Basically, can't um, take many more of these, Joe. if you have a tough time passing your opponent's guard or half guard to get a better, nice to a better position, you want to just go ahead and posture up from whatever position you're in, because that's okay. You can see opponent. that's what I try here. In the full mount. <clears throat> well, I actually get to mount there, but um, yeah, because you can ground and pound from any position. That's what I like about this game, is uh, if they're blocking all your transitions, go ahead and just posture up and try to ground and pound from wherever you are. And into full mount. And uh, <clears throat> reversals. I am not that good at reversals yet, 
but Under two minutes remains the key to the two. ground game, or He's to be an advanced ground play game player, oh, Very nice. Good defense. if you learn how to reverse, you are going to be awesome. The timing is a little bit weird for me. I haven't really worked on it, but I, I will Inside work on that up. as I start playing on mine. 90 seconds remains that. in the but, um, nice punches. Kick to the body. So Cole Miller, body um, I'm having a tough time, and you see he went for a couple a um, submissions when I was on the ground, so I don't want to... If I see him going for submissions, when I have him, when I'm on top of him, I don't want to waste all my en endurance or my energy trying to sub trying to uh, advance positions. Because then if he catches me when, when I have low energy and submits me, that's an easy win for him. So I got to make sure to not uh, waste all my energy on the ground. Of course, you see, I play without my uh, fatigue. Stamina bar on, stamina bar on, but. Um, you can turn that on. I choose to play with it off because it's more realistic and Inside more fun for me. Again. But uh, when you get to playing online, a lot of people, people online do use the stamina bar. Joe, when you look at a round of fighting so like that, you kind of have to turn it on be just be because you don't want them having the advantage over you. And that stand, stamina bar is really helpful because you kind of. That's how you know if it's easy to submit somebody. Uh, if they're low on energy, they're going to be easier to submit. So I mean, it's kind of a, a bar for you to watch your energy right to the slam. So basically the first two rounds, I think I won uh, with Cole Miller. The only thing I did was strike with him a little bit here. and then, uh, take knees. him down. Once I have him down, though, it's hard to get to, to land some easy shots in him. Even though I do get to mount a couple control. times, he's... He's tough, and I can't, oh, I can't posture up from the mount. So Gotta keep those once I uh, get to a point where I can't Good hit him, kick. I'll go ahead and just stand up and strike with him again and slam him, keep up. slamming him. So that's Good combinations here. actually my goal is here is just to uh, outwork him and, he the and land more strikes and win a decision. Here. As you can see, Cole Miller got the takedown on me there. Um, I think he's got about three takedowns throughout the, the entire fight, but I've gotten more takedowns, and I'm pretty sure I won the first two rounds. Um, out of, this is the eighth fight of my career. I'm 7-0. and oh. The first seven fights have all ended by, by knockout or submission. Um, so I haven't had one go to decision, and it looks like there's two minutes and 30 seconds left in the fight here, and I have had trouble submitting him. He actually got a pretty good uh, Kimura on me in the first round. I didn't point it out, but if you go back and rewind, you can see he almost got me because the submission system in this game, uh, visually at least, is when the guy's getting closer to submitting you, you can actually see your arm getting bent uh, in a certain way closer to the submission. So he had my arm way up there. Um, so if you guys rewind to round one, you can actually see that. But, um, so here, uh, putting in the leg kicks here. Trying to come with the overhand right. They're both dead sways. in tight, close, right in the fire. And he gets the takedown. There's that Got trip takedown I was talking about before. Um, you see, it's an easy takedown if, if, if a guy's in front of you swinging. Pass here. You can go ahead and shoot and take him down, and he'll, he'll wrap him up and trip him. And the, and the takedown in brings the you immediately here. into half guard, I believe. So that's another advantage remains. about the take, takedown. So here there's only 40 seconds, and it uh, looks final like Cole Miller has a couple takedowns in this round. But uh, round. I think I'm, I have the advantage on the striking, so oh, at this point I, I felt like I won the first two rounds. And there he goes with another takedown. So, um, Three rounds complete. Stop, stop, stop. actually that's the first fight I've had to go to decision, and uh, a lot of, I've heard from a lot of complaints from the players that they don't have any fights go to decision, that it's not realistic enough, there's always just knockouts and stuff, but I guess it uh, depends, maybe it depends on what difficulty you play at. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer this is my has first decision. decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And also, the decision. way they announce the decision the is uh, better 30, than last year because the hitman, 30, they don't show you the decision, the, the score hitman, before they announce it. So it's kind of a little more dramatic, even though they could do it better. And there you go. I improved to eight and zero. You can win over Cole Miller. And uh, stay tuned for my next episode, episode three. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you guys uh, haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. The link will be on the screen. You have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.